Hey guys, Gambling CS here with another knife review. This is of the Open L number six in car in carbon steel. Alrighty, so uh, just a little bit of history on this knife. It is a classic French design, uh, one of two that I are the like the most popular that I know of, uh, which are the Open L series. Uh, basically, it's the you know traditional old style kind of folders. Uh, I think one of the oldest style uh, locking folders, uh, to my knowledge. Um, and the other is a Duke Duke knife, which I'm also interested in getting. Uh, just look them up on Google or something, and you'll you'll see many many different kinds of pictures of them. Um, anyway, but uh, this is the open all that I've been carrying for the past couple of weeks. Uh, you must have seen the uh, the unboxing I had for it not too long ago. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about it and uh, get a review. So uh, let's just talk about general uh, construction. It's it's just really simple. Um, you know, there's there's really not a lot to this. There's all of like five pieces total. Um, you've got the beechwood handle, which is this is the classic handle. You can actually get uh, uh, designs carved into them or different kinds of voids used. It's all on their site. Um, I just got mine off eBay because it was cheaper and uh, it was what I was looking for, so it was pretty cool. Um, I did go with the carbon fiber, or, uh, not carbon fiber, excuse me, the uh, carbon steel blade instead of the stainless steel. Uh, that's just preference for um, anything of a classic design. I would much prefer to have in a carbon steel blade. Anything like uh, classic designs like a Stockman or Trapper or a Congress or any of those are kind of like old style cutting, <coughs> excuse me, old style knives. Uh, I prefer carbon steel. That's just my preference. Uh, for this one, they have the French equivalent of 1070, so it has a 0.7% carbon uh, content. So it cuts pretty well. Obviously, not as good as like the 1095 we use for uh, K bars, or the 1095 Crow Van, or something of that sort. But I mean, it's not. I wouldn't consider it a hard use knife, knife because of how thin the blade is. So for a light EDC, this is actually what I use for my uh, my small EDC, um, <clears throat> or the small knife in my EDC. Uh, it it works amazingly well. Um, the grind is a full flat grind, which is a, very helpful. It makes an amazing slicer. I mean, that spine, if you look at that, is uh, I'll get my really bad ruler out right here. If I line that up just right, it's it's a hair over one millimeter. A hair. I mean, honestly, it's it's that thin. Um, it makes an amazing slicer, I must say. Uh, Anything that gets really sticky, like uh, cheese or, uh, well, that's the only thing I can think of at the moment. Uh, cheese gets kind of stuck if you try ever cutting it with like a really thick blade. Like uh, if I try cutting it with uh, my Benchmade 111, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cut too well. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so uh, this this makes an amazing slicer. Uh, it did not come with an edge whatsoever. So that's something you might have to put on there. That's, I mean, it's not a problem. It took a few, uh, you know, a few straps on my uh, my light and uh, ceramic stones for my landscape kit. That's all it took. I put a pretty good edge on it. Um, kind of scarred it up a little on the side, but that's you know that's part of the character. Uh, now the thing that a lot of people are attracted to is this collar lock. Uh, that's what it's called. It's called the collar lock. It uh. It's different from a lot of other locks. It's not like the high-tech locks, like the Axis, like on the Benchmade I just pulled out. It's not a lock back like the, uh, like the uh, Delica or the Endora. It's you know such an a strange design, and not something you'll find on a lot of today's modern knives. Uh, the idea behind it is you have a, uh, a you know obviously a handle with a metal piece around it, and that that metal piece acts like a collar and um, will slide back and forth. Uh, some people wonder how it stays on there. It's got a pin actually that goes through the middle. You can't really see it too well. You know what? Let me. Uh, I don't have my light on me, uh, but there's a pin that goes straight through the handle that acts as the pivot for the knife as well. But it still sticks out enough so that. Um, with this bulb right, uh, writing right on top of it, it can't be pulled off, which is pretty cool. I think it's very ingenuitive. Um, it also has uh, two different locking positions. You can actually lock it closed, which not a lot of knives can do nowadays. Uh, as you see, the the tang of the knife puts a little bit farther than the handle, and with this angled cutout right at the collar, it'll kind of hold it in by friction, so I can't pull it out very easily with the, uh, with the nail neck. Nope, not going to come out. So you twist the collar, opens up the channel, open up the knife, 
and close it. Uh, you actually can close it both ways. Uh, it does have the v, uh, like kind of a V cut out into the color if you could see that. However, you can only lock it in one direction right there. Uh, but that's you know that's not a big deal for a six dollar knife. Whatever, it's all good. Uh, you don't have to lock it honestly. It's got enough friction in it that it'll hold itself just like a regular slip joint. Uh, it's not, uh, or excuse me, like a friction folder. Uh, it's not a slip joint that doesn't have a back spring right here. Uh, on the number eight and up, I believe. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. The uh, the collar will have actually a uh, a square piece right on the spine uh, that's connected right up here, and that's just for stronger integrity of the lock. So if you're actually using it for hard use, as the stock is a little bit thicker, I believe, and the blade, uh, the number eight has an extra inch, I believe, on the blade, uh, it will uh, help keep that from breaking the wood or breaking the collar off or pushing it around or something. So that's just a, a nice little design. Uh, a few drawbacks on this knife. Um, really, there's only one that I found. Uh, well, excuse me, there's two. One, it didn't come with an, uh, an edge. It was kind of almost like a, a trainer edge. Um, like a lot of butterfly knives, they also have uh, trainer counterparts, which are basically the blades that are unsharpened. Um, so that's something it came with. It was not sharp at all. I mean, it was worse. It was basically a letter opener. Um, so that's why I had to put an edge on it, but again, it didn't take very long. And the second part uh, is the handle. It, uh, when they cut out this channel, they didn't cut it out deep enough here, and they didn't create a blade stop for it. So the only thing keeping this closed is the tip of the blade right about here, the big belly at the end. This part, uh, even though I sharpen it, it's very dull right now, because when it's closed, it, it keeps hitting the, uh, the inside of the handle. Uh, that's how they stop the knives. I am not a fan of that whatsoever. I'm sure many people aren't because that that's ruining the edge and you constantly have to resharpen it if you want to sharp. Uh, that being said, um, you know, I, you can't really say or do much about it. That's just a flaw of the knife. You can't, I mean, if you really want to, you could start putting in a blade stop in there, uh, but you would have to drill and tap through the handle drill and tap through the steel itself and then you'll have a giant weak spot in there and just <clears throat> excuse me, it'll just get all gummed up and messy. So I just leave it as is. Um but aside from that, you know, it's a phenomenal knife. The weight on this I believe is about one point four ounces, but don't quote me on that. I'm going straight off my head. Um that is the uh excuse me, uh, the uh, uh the logo of open L knives. Um the uh, stainless steel version of this knife, if you're wondering, uh, comes in 12C27 uh, steel. Yeah, 12C27 and steel. Uh, pretty similar to 12C28 and that other, uh, 14, excuse me, 14C28, 13C26, uh, those kind of range of steels that you see on a lot of Kershaw knives, actually. Um, anywho great knife. I highly recommend it for that price. It's it's just amazing. It's the same price as Amora and you know these are these are the kind of knives that if you only have you know 20 bucks to spend you can get both of them and you'll be set. Anywho, uh, I just want to show this knife off and uh, I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching. Alrighty, have a nice day.